Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. We've a great show for you tonight, as usual, but this time we've got a special twist. You see, today marks the 30th anniversary of my existence. And to celebrate, we're going to be bringing in a special guest that offers a perspective that very few others could hope to match. Please put your hands together for Lucas Von Hollen of the future. Wow. So you're me from the future. Yes, I am. But you look like a child. Oh, thanks for that. No, I mean, you look so young, though. Yeah, that's weird, considering I'm the one in the future here. Right? Now, I have to ask, when you first came in, I got up to shake your hands, but you weren't having any of that. Uh, are you too good for handshakes now? Is that not a thing in the future? Oh, no, it's just, so I was editing this video, uh, and I realized that we can't actually interact in any way, physically at least. Oh. Will it cause some kind of irreversible paradox and shatter the time stream as we know it? Uh, no. Uh, I mean, I, I literally don't actually know how to do that with editing. Uh, this is just two clips that are next to each other with a green screen. Like here, if I want to try to go over there, whoop! Yep, see? No interaction. Whoa. Wait, so does that mean that if I... <laughs> wow, that's... That's actually pretty sick, right? All right. Oh. <clears throat> the reason you're on the show tonight, you are now 30 years old, which is crazy. Did not think I would get this far. I know. I don't think anyone did. So what's it feel like being 30, a middle-aged adult? You can say which one of your 20s, but as a 30-year-old, you can't pretend you're not a grown-up. So what's it like? You feel like you're past your prime at all? Bold of you to assume any part of my bizarre life up until now could be considered prime. <laughs> okay, fair enough. You feel any wiser now that you've reached the big 3-0? I don't know about wiser, really. Uh, I will say something awesome is that it turns out imposter syndrome goes away when you turn 30. Like, gone. Well, that's a huge relief. Wow, I'm looking forward to that. Anything else I can look forward to? Not Really, it's the same as being 29, just, you know, a few days later in our case. Wait, how far in the future are you from? Like, two days, I think, maybe three, uh, I don't know, not long. Huh, wow. A lot changes in a short amount of time, huh? I guess so. Happy birthday, by the way. Well, thank you, happy birthday. Thank you. So, let's talk about another important anniversary today. Today marks the 10-year anniversary of Operation Plot Twist. Wow. I know, time flies. So, for those in the audience unaware, 10 years ago, when I turned 20, I held what was called Operation Plot okay. Twist, where... Go ahead. So, if you're reading a book or watching a movie or something, the first opportunity for, like, a real big twist or reveal in the story usually comes in around, like, a quarter-ish, 25%, give or take. Uh, so when I turned 20, I figured... That's about a quarter mark of my life, give or take, so why not do the same thing? Uh, but the problem is, I don't actually have any crazy big reveals or any secrets, because I'm kind of uh, pretty open about everything, even things I shouldn't be. So I didn't really have a lot of room left for dark secrets uh, that I'm aware of, at least. Uh, so I made one. Okay, my turn. So he, he, I, we, we, us, uh, hmm. What is the first person pronouns in a situation like this? That's a really good question. I guess uh, I'm going to go with third person, I guess. I mean, if if I'm in the present, or I mean, well, you're in your present. Now you're in your present because you're my future. So I'm, I, even though I'm the present for me, you're, I'm the past. Oh, God. Yeah, just, just go with third person. This is complicated. Yeah, okay. I'm good with that. Uh, so, Lucas... Did a whole thing where, for a few months, he asked everyone he knew ten years ago to send him changes. Um, things that could be different. Major life alterations given his situation at the time. But, the catch was that they couldn't be positive or negative. They had to be neutral. So no, start working out, or be healthy, or anything like that. It had to be stuff that wasn't necessarily good or bad. Just, different. Yep. 
Uh, then him and a friend sat down and went through every single suggestion until they got to 20. 19. 19? 19. And 19 changes, and then they made it into a big old solid list. Then I rolled a 20-sided die seven times and did whatever changes the die landed on. Uh, but I did get a free space. Yeah, that's right. And you used it on the shoes, yes, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> I documented and filmed the entire process into a 45-minute video as I was doing it so everyone else could see uh, what was happening. It was a lot of fun and also very, very chaotic. Whew, yeah, I remember that. There were some really crazy things that made it on that list. Uh, I remember one of the major ones was to literally change your last name legally, which you did. Yep, and I've been a Von Holland for 10 years now. Nice, nice. So how's it uh, treating you? <laughs> well, I found out later on that in German, von Holen translates literally to from hell. Uh, so I'm not entirely sure what my ancestors did to earn that name, but it, it must have been pretty crazy. Wow. Yeah. Do you miss your old last name at all? Not even a little bit. Well, that's good then. Um, you also had some other changes on that list, if memory serves. In fact, wasn't one of them that you had to change your entire wardrobe to something completely different because it hit all of those? Yeah, that was crazy. And expensive. Did it turn out for the best, do you think? I think so. I mean, honestly, it's hard to tell either way. Fair enough. Overall, I feel like it went well. At least, if it went catastrophically wrong, I can't tell. And that's really all we can ask for, isn't it? So, now into the nitty-gritty. I have a list of questions here for you about everything that's happened up until now, if you've got the time. Go for it. Awesome. So, first question. Where did your hair go? Gone. All of it. Thank goodness. Really? Not a fan of the long hair. So much fun, though. No. No. Uh, it was really fun at first. Oh man, crazy hair! I can do a bunch of stuff with it, but oh my god, it just isn't worth it. Uh, the big downside is that it's like always there on your head. Like, tie it back, put it a bun, whatever. It's still a mass, and it's going to get in the way of literally everything. Things get stuck on it. It gets dirty. It gets in the way of everything. I have boxes of hair ties, and every time I did my hair, I'm like, why am I doing this? I don't even have an answer for that. I just, I guess just because I'm too lazy to cut it, what? And on top of that, the amount of effort that goes into keeping that much hair, which I didn't do anyway, like, oh, conditioner it, shampoo it, uh, brush it, untangle it, keep it out of your face, out of your food. I, dude, I'm just not willing to put that much effort in. Like, I'm sure it fits really well into other people's lifestyles. And don't get me wrong, being able to, like, look like Fabio every now and again was great. But, man, that is just not something that I want to spend any more time on than I already did. Uh, plus, we live in freaking Florida. It gets so hot when it's tied back. Oh, my goodness. Uh, whereas now, I don't even have to think about it. Like, it's fantastic. No brushing, no nothing. I just wake up, boom, right there. Even easier. Huh. Okay. So no regrets then? Not even a little bit. Uh, it was fun to try the whole look. Don't get me wrong, but I'm good. I don't plan on doing that again. All right. So on the same topic, your beard. Where's the goatee, man? Yeah, that one's kind of depressing. Oh, no. So, like, that right there, when was the last time you shaved? Uh, seven years, I think? Yeah. It doesn't grow any more than that. Really? Yeah, sorry. Uh, I just don't have the genes for it. I mean, I might grow it back. We'll see, I guess. Uh, but I tell you now, it does not get more than a goatee. That is incredibly depressing. Yeah, but we've known that for a while, I think. Yeah, but it still sucks admitting it. True. All right. <sighs> Moving on, then. So, you have worked a lot of jobs. That is true. Like, like a lot of jobs, actually. Uh, and they're all over the place. Like, not even the same category. Uh, wow, we've got technician, street performer, programmer, teacher, game developer, clown, interaction designer, videographer, editor, engineer, corporate drone, notary, wizard, instructor. What are you doing? We all walk twisted paths. Well, yeah, but I mean, pick a lane, right? These don't even appear to be related. Well, you know how it is. Uh, gotta sample a lot of food before you find your favorite one, right? I mean, that makes sense, but... 
even with that in mind, it still seems a bit excessive. Uh, in fact, it looks like a lot of these were worked at the same time as each other. <sighs> Did you end up finding your favorite? I'm not sure. Well, I mean, every time I think I find my favorite, I find something else that I like. Wow, okay. So how are you going to make a choice then? Oh, I'm not. You aren't? No, I'll just keep doing all of them. I mean, if I like it, I'll just keep doing it, right? <laughs> Do you have time for all of that? Oh, no, not at all. Okay. <laughs> all right, well then. Let's talk about your sex life. Let's not. Okay. So, uh, what's your favorite color then? Hot pink. Terrible taste. I know. Okay. Practicing lines. So, well, yeah, then, all the time. tell me hey. about... Ooh. Oh my god, are you kidding you me? Want, you want the hat? No, okay. go away. Okay. We're in the middle of filming. Right, right. Go get out of here. Shut the door. I put a sign up and everything. Oh my god. I'm so sorry about that. Who is that? Uh, I think it's... I think that's me or us from the past. I I think my past... Huh? So you're... I don't know. It's it's confusing. I, I don't know. Hmm. Anyway, let's talk about some of your creations. For anyone else, that might mean children. <laughs> That's true, <laughs> but for you, it means robotic creation. Like the robotic utility suit, for one. Yes, the Iron Man one. Yeah, so you spent three years developing that sucker. And what did it end up doing again? It had a heads-up display, voice recognition, controlled televisions and projectors from up to 40 feet away. Uh, make phone calls, plug into game systems, post to social media, browse the internet, and of course, did shoot fire. So what happened to that thing? I still have it. I just got kind of bored and started making other stuff. All right, fair enough. What did you end up creating then? Uh, Obi, my big bot. Ah, uh, yes, the seven-footer, the transforming one, right? Yep, the one that causes the property damage. Yeah, yeah. So what does it do again? <laughs> Aside from causing property damage? Uh, quite a bit. It can follow you around, uh, goes up to like six miles an hour, which isn't that fast until it's chasing you, then it's very fast. Uh, supports the weight of a human, it has a face that reacts, uh, shoots nerf darts, plays music, has some voice responses, stuff like that. Nice, nice. So are you finished with it? Not quite. Um, I'm still working on it on and off, uh, fixing bugs here and there, adding more minor features like improved Wi-Fi, stuff like that. So then, what are you going to be working on next? I have no idea. Nothing I've created so far has been for any purpose other than, oh man, this seems like a cool idea. So anything past that concept is probably not going to happen. Anything I create is going to be more of the same, I'm guessing. No oh, solving humanity's problems? No revolutionary technical paradigm shifts of sparkling innovation? Nah, I just, I just like making the fun, stupid stuff. All right, then. <laughs> okay, so I gotta ask before we continue, something that's been bugging me a little bit. You don't appear to be wearing a lab coat. That is true. All right. So, not to sound alarmed, but that's, that's kind of the look, isn't it? Like, that's kind of the whole thing. Like, the lab coat with the stains that might be blood, might not be... Well, like, that's kind of, that's like the whole aesthetic, right? Is that, is that not a thing in the future anymore? No, it is absolutely still a thing, don't worry. Oh, okay, cool. The only reason I'm not wearing it now is because usually if I'm filming a video like this in front of an audience, I'd wear like my nice starchy lab coat, like the nice one. No, yeah, I know the one. Did something happen to it? Well, no, I, I can't wear it because you're wearing it. Oh. That... That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, I mean, I, I could have worn another one, but you know... No, no, yeah, I get you, because if you make a video, you want to be wearing the nice one. I mean, that's why I'm wearing the nice one. I guess that, right, I should have thought about that. Yeah, but it, it's no big deal. Yeah, no, I got you, I got you. Okay. Huh. All right, well, next question, then. Where are these questions coming from? These cards, right here. Yeah, but where, where did you get those? Um, well, uh... Yeah, I'll be honest, everything on these cards is just a bunch of random scribbles. There's not actually questions on any of this. Uh, I do have an actual uh, list of things that you've done, though. Oh. Yeah. 
So accomplishments or uh, maybe not accomplishments because that has a positive connotation. These are more of a noteworthy things that have taken place, really. Uh, and who boy, you've uh, you've done a lot. Uh, now, 10 years is a long time, but good Lord, did you even sleep? No, sleep is for the week. Uh-huh. Going over a few of these, I'm noticing that a lot of them are highlighted in blue. What is What does that signify? Oh, uh, right. So the ones in blue are ones that you cannot read out loud. Especially because I'll be posting this video publicly. Really? Because there's a, there's a lot. Uh, oh. Okay, yeah, no, I see that. Yeah, statue of limitations on that one. Um. <laughs> yeah, oh. This okay, is but a what public about... video. I am currently an instructor at a state university, and I would rather my students not find out about some of that crap. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember this one. I, uh... Yeah, okay, fair enough, fair enough. So, but even going through the ones I can read on camera with impunity, um, this entire dossier reads more like a poorly written fan fiction. And yet this is what's taken place in your life. Yeah, that's a pretty accurate description. I don't even know where to start with these, really. I mean, you've, again, not very positive or negative, just a lot of weird stuff. Became the lead clown in the circus, dropped out of college, lived in a condemned house for four years, became a game designer, got a job teaching middle school, got back into college, became a street performer, dropped out of college again, founded a company, made custom grade school curriculum that's still in use today, somehow ended up getting into a master's program, bought a house, literally raided arcades, worked in the mayor's office, joined every parade you could, founded another company, bought another house next to the first one, almost became a domestic terrorist on an accident, uh, exploded more things than I can count, got several games published, uh, finally graduated with your masters, got a job as an instructor at a state university no less, uh, filled the house with homeless people from before, uh, founded a third company, went back to school for more certificates, worked for the government, connected your houses via shipping container, good lord, and you're still driving the same car. Why? Yes, sir, the Theseus, my 97 Toyota Corolla. Oh my god. That thing's old enough to drink. It can, it's old enough to rent other cars. How long have you had that thing? It's almost as old as you are at this point, right? Yes, I've been in that car since I was a child, and I do not plan on giving it up anytime soon. Um, I have to start it these days with a rusty set of pliers. Well, that's terrifying, actually. I know. Huh. Well... Now what? What do you mean? I mean, the big question. You've got a job, a house, another house, several companies. Uh, I guess more than one job, really. You have a lot of things that you have worked really hard for. And yet, you seem to have zero plans for the future. So I guess the question on everyone's mind is, what's next in the life of Lucas? You tell me. I did not plan on getting this far. I mean, that's fair, but nothing for the future? No plans of any kind? No idea what's next? Not even a little bit. Just keep going and see what happens next, I guess. Huh. Living in the moment in its purest form, I guess. Yeah, seems that way. Hmm. Well... In that case, I suppose that's it for tonight's show. Because <laughs> apparently, I've got a haircut to get to. And I've got to get back to the future for now. Well, I think I speak for both of us when I say it's been a great 30 years so far. So here's to the next 30. Sounds good to me. Have a good night, everybody.
suck my dick.